Firefighter Dankin Brink here with Godfrey Fire Protection District. Today we're going to review 12 lead acquisition with our Zoll E-Series cardiac monitor. Before we get into cardiac monitor settings and 12 lead placement, we need to make sure that the limb leads are placed on our patient. So our limb leads, right and left arm and right and left leg. The arm leads will be placed anywhere distal of the head of the humerus. The, limb, the lower limb leads will be placed uh, anywhere mid shaft femur distally. On your cardiac monitor, you hit the 12 lead button. We will go to patient info. There you can change the age, the gender, and that sort of thing. Press the age, go up to the navigational keys on top arrow through to that person's age. There's a round button on top which is your enter key. And then return back. It's now changed to 38 years old. The gender you can scroll through, male or female. And now it's set up for a 38 year old male. We now go to ID and here we need to enter the first uh, the initial of their first name and last name so it's consistent with the hospital records. Once you've got the initial of their first name and initial of their last name entered, return back and now we're ready to acquire the 12 lead. You need to landmark. Don't pay attention to this. This body, this uh, mannequin is not proportional but you need to know how to landmark the areas. There's six leads, okay? We have a reference card in the side pouch of the cardiac monitor. To place V1, you find the angle of Lewis on the sternum. Go over to the right side and you'll be able to fill the second rib. Palpate down until you feel the space below the second rib and go two spaces down, which is your fourth intercostal space. This is where V1 is placed, on the sternal border, the right side of the sternal border in the fourth intercostal space. V2, same exact place on the left side of the sternum. We then palpate down to the next, to the fifth intercostal space and place V4 in the midclavicular line. V3 is then placed directly midpoint between 2 and 4. Again, this is not... Um, this is not proportional to, a, to an actual person. Then we would place V6, which is going to be again in the fifth intercostal space, mid-axillary line, and V5, also in the fifth intercostal space between V4 and V6. Once you have the chest leads placed and the patient information is entered into the monitor, return back and hit Acquire. Remember to have your patient stay still, breathe normally, don't speak while the acquisition is taking place. Two copies of the 12 lead are going to print out. One will keep for Godfrey records. The other is given to the transporting ambulance. You can see two strips are printing out now. When we document this on our patient care report in the narrative, we'll state that we've obtained a 12 lead, given a copy to the transport ambulance, and we can reference the attached 12 lead to our patient care report. We won't diagnose, we won't uh, interpret the rhythm at all, since we're still a BLS agency. That's the basic 12 lead acquisition for the Zoll cardiac monitor.